up everybody it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video I'd like to welcome you guys back to the channel if this is your first time on the channel and you want to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection there's a list of my socials right there also you can follow me in the family vibes discord group there's the uh, IG uh, page right there on the screen you can join the uh, group any information needed message the account or you can message myself and if you want to follow me right here on youtube hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified every time i upload a video right here on this channel today we take a look at a sneaker and it's probably going to be the last of its kind due to the controversy that the uh lab or the person that made the shoe has been causing in the media this is the first time i'm reviewing this actual sneaker here on this channel so here we go see that 500 we're talking about the one and only kanye west that brother been acting a fool in the media he's been talking bad about certain groups of people he also been voicing his opinion I'm not here to judge him, but due to his comments, everybody been pulling away from him. Athletes, music groups, fashion groups, and Adidas done pulled away from him. As we look at the box, it's probably going to be the last U.S. release of the Yeezy 500. There's the box label. I'm going to read it out loud. Yeezy 500. High. Uh, color is top black, top black, top black, US size 11, and the retail on these were $220. You got the slide out box, you can see that glossy type paper, and it's here we go the easy 500. And we got a little sticker right here in the corner, it says R, what the R stands for. Not sure what it stands for. Just hope it's not R. Kelly. First thoughts after looking at this shoe, it looks like it would be a perfect shoe for hiking. A uh, perfect shoe if you in the military or if you have like a combat arms type job. These are screaming armor <laughs> in my opinion. Looking at the upper, you got several different types of material. You actually have leather, new buck, you got some neoprene, Top colorway. <laughs> you got uh this little line going around here, this little rope on your uh, upper. That part is reflective. If you hit it with a certain light, it will be reflective. You got your adiprene on your midsole. Looking at the outsole and looking at the heel. This is one of the most unpopular silhouettes. And the only reason I'm looking at this sneaker is, you know, add something different to the channel. And to see what you guys had to say about the latest events in the days of life of Mr. Yee. And that was the tag, you see the Easy 500 high. And you got your, uh, lot number of style code and it tells you the different sizes give you a look at that toe box there it is rope laces infinity laces on here i'm not even sure what uh the stock numbers were on these but this is the sneaker these were produced in may of this year can stuff with this little tissue See if I can get you a look on the inside of this boot. Yeah, it's a hiking boot. And it has the audacity to come with additional laces. This is an acquired taste. And you have the other laces in here. Comes just like that. Uh, prior to Adidas releasing Kanye West from their deal, their arrangement, probably could go anywhere online and get these because this silhouette is not popular in my opinion it may be popular in other parts of the country 
all the world, but no one's really buying these around my week. But this is the Yeezy 500 High, so let me know your thoughts on this boot. If you have any of them in your collection, let me know that as well. And what's really going on with him since he's been released from all these different business typhoons. Not sure. I'm not going to voice my opinion on it, but I think he's planning something big. That's what, that's what I think he's planning something big because, you know, Kanye West normally thinks outside of the box, even though a lot of his actions and words have been controversial, but uh, Adidas still owns the patent to a lot of these Yeezys that we've been buying over the years, and I'm looking forward to seeing, well, not looking forward, I'm interested to see what's going to happen going forward because we're going to see whether the Sneaker Society love yay more or they actually love the shoe so that's pretty much it on this and let me know your thoughts on it and everything surrounding kanye west and like i always tell y'all if you can help somebody get a sneaker help them get that sneaker because you never know well it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker titanic feet jack signing out